Well, good morning, y'all. I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead, and today it's all about DIY winterizing for the RV. Now, I have looked online nonstop as far as winter skirtings for RV, specifically our uh, our uh, fifth wheel, which we have a 44 44 foot toy hauler. I'm having a real issue talking today, speaking. Um, but needless to say, anything that's on the market is man. It's either a very, very thin material or it's, and it's really expensive or it's a really good material, but it's even super, like way more expensive. Now I'm looking at products that are anything from the vinyl sheeting that goes all the way around and you have to, there's sometimes you have to drill into the RV. There's ones that have plastic and adhesive and this and that. And, in, and once you take down the skirting, it still stays up there and it's kind of ugly. It's not aesthetically pleasing. And then all the way up to these big giant balloons that you put under there and you blow them up and it's supposed to block off the air, but those are real dumb looking, not to mention it's like $4,000. So, um, I've got an idea. Uh, now I've looked at quite a few different ones, like I said, and I am at Home Depot right now. We're going to go look at, uh, um, foam insulation, the foam insulation boarding, um, the sheathing and they're four by eight sheets. Now they come in different thicknesses. Um, half inch, uh, I think is like just under, it's about just under $10. The inch sheets are $15. And um, then you get into inch and a half, two inches, et cetera, et cetera. I don't really believe that we are gonna need anything that size, but let's go take a look. And before we start, please make sure to hit that thumbs up and uh, yeah, let's get into Home Depot. This is fun. like a really noisy cart. Maybe it gets you an air ride on these things. Sometimes navigating this place is kind of crazy. Excuse me. Do you know where to find the uh, 4x8 uh, insulation sheathing? The foam, foam, yeah. it's like four by eight foam boards. What, what are you use? Um, it's, I'm going to actually use it for skirting around the RV, but uh, it's like a one inch by four by eight. No, the, I'm looking for the four foot by eight foot sheets. Sheet that has a foam. It's it's made out of foam. I think most foams are on the. I'll show you where. Okay. <clears throat> well, we have an issue already. These are the ones that I need. That are one inch. They are fifteen seventy five a piece. They said they had twenty six of these, and of course there is only five. So they're checking. This is the half inch. And I just think that that's a little too thin. It's not too bendy. Um, maybe in a lighter climate, but we're up in the mountains. Ultimately, I would really like to do that. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. So, let's see if they got it. All right, well, they just brought out a whole pallet, which was awesome. Super happy about that. The awesome thing about Home Depot on their website is they actually have a size count or a calculator that uh, you can add in, you know, roughly the distance that you're going to with it, or the width that you need. Calculate that and it'll determine how many sheets. Just a, a quick tool um, so you don't have to figure it on your own uh, by going out there and measuring and all that stuff. So. I have figured that it will take me roughly 15 sheets um, to do the whole thing with some extra just in case. And uh, now we need to get some some uh, all weather, I'm thinking the, um, the cold weather aluminum tape. Um, that stuff is uh, pretty hardy and like I said, it's for cold weather. So uh, it should not have any problems like duct tape. Duct tape has a tendency to dissolve and Kind of go to crap, especially when it goes to, when it gets wet. So let's go find that. Okay, so the next thing we need is going to be aluminum tape. Yeah, there's all the HVAC 
aluminum foil tape. Now, oh, there's a bunch. But we're looking for, there's extreme weather. Let me see. Extreme weather, foil tape. There's 50 yards. Uh, it's 150 feet. Um, it's good from 30, 35 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 35 up to 260. That's pretty awesome. Uh, durable bond in harsh weather, permanent airtight. Um, yeah, that stuff looks good. Let's take two. Just to be safe, we'll take two of them. So the grand total as of right now is $324. Um, to, uh, let me see. Those two tape. It's $55 for two rolls of tape. Ooh. But uh, this is going to work. Uh, DIY, skirting for your RV. Uh, you could spend thousands of dollars or you can do it yourself. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Man, as you can see today, on the way home, we're heading back up to the property. All the smoke that is not fog, that is 100% smoke from the forest fires that are in the generalized area. That's the reason why I'm off work today. Well, we're back at the property and uh, I'm kind of excited a little bit. And uh, I'm trying to figure out uh, what better place to start. Well, I'll just start at the beginning. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna, uh, one of the things that I'm gonna do is uh, it is five minutes to uh, 1230 and I'm going to time myself to see how long this actually takes. But uh, I think I can get it done pretty quick. Um, I'm not gonna super rush, but. Uh, we're gonna do it right, we're gonna get it done, and uh, we'll be safe for the winter, at least for this part. Cool, let's do it. One of the things that I did make sure to grab, other than the things, these little plastic putty knives, just so I can uh, smooth out the tape and get a nice seal. I think that was a pretty good idea. Other than that, I think the only thing that I'm gonna use is uh, a razor knife and a tape measure. So I wanted to actually ride up into here a little bit and uh, they're four foot by eight foot so I think I'll go be good at two feet so I can take two feet it'll wrap up just to about here and that way I'll get more material so I can split it directly down the center and uh, majority of the front um, the very front the sides all the way down the other side is going to be about two feet so uh the back actually starts to go downhill so the the back of the rv is a little bit higher that'll be a full four sheet but... So I actually got to have the day off today, being as that it's Wednesday. Um, if you remember, if you saw that last video about uh, weather and how weather affects tower cranes, I talked at the very end about how we'd have uh, been having a lot of forest fires. Well, there's forest fires that are somewhat close to here, just north, very, very smoky. Um, but in Redmond, where the tower crane is, uh, the AQI or air quality index was, uh, woke up this morning at five o'clock and it was at like 167 or something. And 150 is pretty much no go. So 
that's why I got to do this today. That's pretty awesome because I think I'm going to actually work Saturday. do have all these extra pieces but as of right now that's actually that uh, plug down there because that plug right there that is our water pump that uh, is supplied from down there the creek come here Nova hey bees hi well so there's one little part right in there that needs to be fixed or finished This is the part that I'm gonna have issues with. It's getting everything to cover up inside of there. Now, I think I might be able to crawl under, put a piece of board, or put a piece underneath there, or up against there, and draw out the wheel well from the inside, which would be kind of difficult, but it will be worth it. I mean, I have to do it one time, and then I can trace it on another piece. But, uh, that's, uh, that little piece fit in there really cool. And the back, and then there is the back. I did dig out a little bit so that I could use a full four foot sheet. But you see a difference how um, when I built the uh, um, RV pad, it comes all the way back, but I knew that the wheels would be way up there. So it would just be this backside hanging down. So as far as all this in between here and around here, I have all of this bark material. You see down, way down there, there's all those logs, big giant, there's so much bark down there. Um, but yeah, I think it's, uh, I really think it's turned out good. Um, I think it's a, a, a very good investment. Now you guys could probably, I mean, if you want to, you can fork out the couple thousand dollars um, for those weird blow up balloon ones. Um, I mean, it's like $4,000 or you can get that plastic skirt, but the real, I mean, I guess the reality of the situation with that plastic skirt is you have to put some sort of adhesive or something on the outside of your RV or buttons or whatever. And I just, I kind of think it's tacky because then you have to go through and I mean, it's literally, it's not very strong and blows in the wind. And I don't know, I think this is gonna be a lot more efficient. And if you're willing to do, put in the time um, like I said, it's, uh, I've only spent $374 and I can guarantee I'm actually going to take half of those sheets back because I've only used, I think one, two, four sheets total. So four sheets total. And I bought 15 and I've just done the whole side and the back with the exception of the wheel wheel, but I'm going to bring it back and, uh, a $30 roll of tape. So let's finish this thing.
All right, so we got the majority of it done, the skirting all the way around. The only thing that I have yet to do is the tires, but uh, this is actually the next day. We slept last night, woke up this morning, and even then noticed a significant difference. Now, the temperature dropped down to about, I think, 38 degrees last night. And wow, what a difference on just what I did yesterday. Um, again, take in consideration, I did not cover the wheels. Um, I'm gonna work on a different process or a different idea for covering the wheels, but as far as the rest of it, it's all done. All we have to do right now is uh, spread the bark and make it look amazing. But so far, check it out. So in consideration of this panel right here, I have not taped it up. I'm actually gonna use that as a door that uh, I can uh, enter underneath the RV if I need to. Um, go check out uh, anything that uh, that might be critter crawling under there. Hopefully nothing, but uh, who knows? I mean, we're pretty deep out into the Cascade Mountains, so uh, you never know. So onward. Now it's nothing but uh, wheelbarrow loads to fix up. Actually, uh, finish the rest of this, which I'm going to cover all of this back here. Let me see. Yep, all of that back there. And then uh, the, obviously the very, very back. But eh, let's get to that. So as for the wood chips, how did I get such a large pile of wood chips and how much did it cost? It is a great insulator, especially for uh, winter time, those colder climates. Well, the cool thing about this is that uh, I have two truckloads and it cost me literally nothing. The reason why is there is a company called Chip Drop, C-H-I-P Drop. Um, I'm not sure if it's everywhere across the country, but it is in Washington and we have a lot of tree companies. So what you basically do is go online you could even try that. Look up chipdrop.com and uh, see if it's in your generalized area. But these tree companies come up with all of the uh, branches and, uh, and uh, trees and what have you that they grind up and they need a place to dump that. A lot of times they actually have to, um, they have to pay to go to a dump. But uh, if you are privy to the fact that this is actually a really good ground cover, very insulating and smells amazing, looks really cool. But then again, I grew up back in the day where beauty, beauty bark was a big thing. Um, you can uh, put in your information. They do have an option that you can pay $20, uh, which is their typically their fee to drop it off. Or you can just put in for free and it probably takes a little bit longer. But uh, either way, it's good stuff and a very, very helpful, especially in those winter months. And uh, yeah, check it out. Woohoo! Number one. You know, I gotta say, for being 48 degrees out right now, it's perfect. Cause uh, the wheelbarrow is kicking my butt. Okay, well, I've got it finished officially. And uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself. now. I have five sheets left, which are about $16 a piece, plus the the uh, $30 roll of uh, aluminum tape that I can bring back, which is pretty awesome. Um, so without further ado, let's check it out. I got the table and the chair out there. It's nice and neat. Everything is back to where it should be. It actually looks a lot better back here with this bark. 
which I really like back there. And there you go. So there you go. I think, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And being is that uh, we worked within a budget that was under $400 compared to the products that are online, which I don't doubt. I mean, if someone's interested in that, they want to do that, they want to spend all that extra money because I didn't find anything that was less than $1,000. And if you are a DIY kind of person, you want to spend a little bit of time on a project, then this is definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, I think the material um, is definitely a lot better than some of the materials that they have online. Um, and one thing that should be noted as far as this goes, this is a more semi-permanent to permanent uh, solution. This is not something that you take down real, or you put up real quick and then you take down real quick. Um, this is something where the RV is going to be sitting here for a while. Now, one of the things that I didn't mention, our RV is sitting here. We're going to be living in this for probably about a year or so. And the reason why is because we're out on the property and we're in the process of permits to build a house. And that's the reason why we have this big RV out here. Um, eventually, once we build the house and I work further on the driveway because to get it up here, oh, that was such a headache. Um, granted, it is 44 feet, but uh, once we get it or get the driveway taken care of, we'll be able to hit the road and uh, enjoy that RV for what it was made for, traveling. But uh, I appreciate all y'all watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope that, uh, you know, you guys got nothing but amazing adventures in your travels. And, uh, you know, maybe take this idea as well and run with it. Do something different. Um, if you guys have an idea as for the, another idea as for those wheels, um, let me know in the comment. And uh, also let me know what you've done on your project um, to, to do the skirting around your RV. But until next time, I'm Dusty. I got nothing but love, nothing but blessings for all y'all and your families out there. And uh, again, even though I keep on saying it, until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.